Seven, six, five, three engines up and burning. Three, two, one, and lift off of Space Shuttle Discovery. Amid alligators, rocket ships, and trips out of this world, NASA's greenest facility is taking root in rich history of Kennedy Space Center in Florida. From the plot of land it sits on to the crushed crawlaway rocks that will be used for landscaping and the iconic fire room window glazing and framing that will hold up new energy efficient windows. It's all about reusing what's old to make a new and better building. As you look behind me, this building is the best of the best for NASA. The new Propellants North Administrative and Maintenance Facility will be a future hub for spacecraft fueling support and a storage facility for cryogenic fuel transfer equipment. It will be a first of its kind, energy efficient building for the agency. Uh, the building is designed to be 52% more efficient than a traditional commercial building. And to do that, we looked at very specific lighting fixtures, design strategies, photovoltaic panels, and we left no stone unturned in that process. It will be a nearly net zero energy and water use facility. And that's not the only thing that makes it special and unique. When complete, the facility will stand as an icon representing NASA's past and future. That's because elements and materials from around the Space Center are being repurposed and recycled to make the building even greener. Every uh, shuttle passed through the crawlaway, every, every launch has been viewed through those windows, and we just thought it was a shame to waste of them, so we're actually reusing them. It's set at the same orientation and angle as it was in the Launch Control Center, looking out towards launch pad A and B. That reuse approach comes from the facility's main goal, to achieve the U.S. Green Building Council's Leadership in Environmental and Energy Design, or LEED, Platinum status. Platinum is the highest rating a green building can achieve. There are only 267 in the United States, only one other in Florida, and this will be the first for the space agency. It's not just the finished product that will glisten a shade of green when it opens for business, planned for December 2010. Since August 2009, the construction team has been working to keep the construction site just as eco-friendly. Uh, we try to recycle everything on site that we possibly can. To date, 475 tons of concrete, 163 pounds of crushed bottles and aluminum cans, 2.16 tons of cardboard, 164 pounds of white paper, 2.3 tons of wood, and 3.5 tons of steel have been recycled from the construction site. And these numbers will just increase until the project is completed. The construction team is dedicated to recycling every bit they can. Dumpster diving has almost turned into a labor of love. It's, it's really amazing when I show up on the site and I actually see someone going through the dumpster to try to segregate the waste to, to even a higher level. I mean, we're, we're around 90, 95% waste that's generated on the site actually gets reused or diverted to some other process. So right there, it's high performance. To have somebody go in pulling out bottles and cans out of the dumpster so we can recycle an, an extra can really just shows you the dedication of their team. Items that would normally go into a landfill also are being used for Kennedy's protected wildlife. Now, even the silt fencing after the project's done, we have, we're, um, we have our girls that'll come over and then they remove the silt fence and um, use it for protection of burrows and stakes for burrows for the gopher tortoises later on. So. The team agrees this environmentally friendly facility is just the beginning for the Space Center and the agency. When you drive around the Space Center, you're not going to see this kind of architecture, this kind of efficiency, this kind of design on any other building that we've done. And I hope this is just the start.